Hi, it's Miri Abundant. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Starting with a quote. If you are always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. Bam, spot on. <laughs> Very good for recovery as well. This was my coffee one year ago with, yeah. I was kind of proud about that there was plant milk in there, you know, like liquid calories, but at the same time, yeah, it was very little. Um, you see here the yogurt with strawberries and then the usual oatmeal puffed up with volume and water with white chocolate on top, which was also new to me. You see, I um, kind of, I was kind of um, experimenting and challenging different kinds of chocolate because believe it or not, <laughs> I had different fears of different chocolates because you especially white chocolate even though this white chocolate was actually vegan um, scared me much more than dark chocolate um, because I guess of because it's basically pure cacao butter like the pure fat of the cacao bean of the cocoa bean and then you know sugar um, I got a comment from Mareike on my German channel and basically she says, um, no matter how brave it might be uh, to eat something like also against your convictions, like animal products in this case, but for me, it doesn't make any sense. If I don't want to eat something ethically, like if I can't, it doesn't align with me ethically, then it's a voluntary restriction for me. Like I, Verzicht. what do you say in, English it's like it's not a restriction it's a choice that's basically what she's saying a voluntary choice I don't want to eat animal stuff it is not restriction because for her restriction is when she wants something yeah and so I totally get where she's coming from but the thing is when you are not living in a vegan world which we all don't then there will always be things that you crave that are not vegan it would be very different if the whole you know fear foods of the eating disorder were vegan then I would see no problem at all just not you know, j just staying vegan in recovery. Let's just talk about the snack that I had here. It's kind of like a mug cake because I was scared of conventional store-bought cake. So this is kind of flour and um, raisins, like kind of, yeah, still pretty whole foody. But, you know, it's it's processed and it's it was another step on my stepping stone line, on my stairs to recovery. Then the next thing was the usual banana ice cream that you know already. You will also see uh, like close-ups of the nuts in there, which I was really still very afraid of, still challenging them. And so I w it's just all about the reason why it doesn't make sense to you. I totally get that. I also was in that stage for a long time. It didn't make sense for me also because also in the future, I just didn't want to eat animal products because it didn't align with me it still doesn't but if you if even if you have the most ethical motivations behind it as long as the eating disorder is part of the motivation behind what you're choosing to eat or not choosing to eat you have the problem you are um yeah you see you see here the the bread that i was challenging also i had some bread but you see also the nibbling, right? It's like, I, I, I'm not brave enough to actually just cut a whole fat slice of bread that I really wanted. I was just kind of scraping off some thin slices, which, yeah, I don't do anymore, but it's also kind of an, an ED habit, like just nibbling around, just having some scraps of this and some leftovers of that because you're just not brave enough. You're just too scared to eat a whole portion, a whole big plate of it. Um, so you, you see there very clearly that I was still in quasi recovery. So what I wanted to say is as long as the eating disorder is part of what you're choosing to eat or not, you are feeding the eating disorder. The recovery is all about 
breaking free from my eating disorder and you can not do this and this took me such a long time when you're not totally losing the fears by doing the complete opposite actions so this is what i ate a week ago it's you know i was um, in my family's we had something to celebrate i had we had pretzels for breakfast i wasn't feeling pretzels at that point so i had a latte macchiato which i really love it's with whole milk mm. yeah i i just love to be able to to have liquid calories i mean no normal person actually thinks in liquid calories it's so strange to even think about it but you know for eating disorder people it is actually it's really a thing i had this kind of fruit and nut muesli with yogurt and milk it's two different ones and some cinnamon on top this is the kind of yogurt i use and it's so great because i don't have to bring my own food anymore i just take what they have there right also this almond butter i used and also actually had some tangerines i think i don't know if they were seeable somewhere but i also had some tangerines to i think i don't know it doesn't really matter also had more of the almond butter more of the yogurt and just so freeing to just be content with what will be there where you're going to you don't have to circle around your own stuff and bring it with you everywhere i also had this bun that you saw here and then we went to a church it was just uh, the reason why you know it was the reason of the trip we were making david and i and i just love going on trips now it used to scare me so much this was lunch um for every everyone part of it was this cucumber salad and this carrot salad but the main part was pizza mm, i had different ones and i think half of a pizza like half of this kind of but different pieces i had some of the swabian kind of ravioli cheese cheese kind of pizza and some vegan pizza and some with bacon and later i had this latte macchiato and then brownies <laughs> these were actually vegan but the thing is i can have them now are, yeah if they're vegan or not i had actually four four of these brownies i just love these brownies and the thing is this is so perfect for the comment that i got when you when all the brownies in the world were, were vegan then there's no problem in staying vegan in recovery later when i got home i just had some of this um <laughs> just very random i was craving it but the thing is not all brownies in the world are vegan and i hope this response to the comment made sense i see you in the next video bye